I have a cool story to share with you that just happened and the markets are down again. My name is D7 here at Rock Trade, Tuesday, March 7th, 2017. And the markets do go bearish with Russell's down the most, down 0.65%. Everybody else bearish territory. And big drop in gold, more in silver, down 1.7%. South, fear increasing by nearly 2%. Here we are looking at the spider. But before I do, let me share with you an experience I just had. This guy... Um, I met, he, his name's Mark, Isbell, Isbell. He has a website, it's called Hoosier, pull and flag.com, Hoosier, pull and flag.com. And I had the pleasure to meeting him. He is a veteran of nine years in the military, worked at the, in the White House, and had more clearance than Secret Service due to his uh, communications work that he did there at the White House. And shared with me some very interesting things. But anyway, this gentleman um, said something useless. I'm full of useless facts. And a lot of you guys are engineer types and love useless facts too, so I'll give you some useless facts. Secret Service... There at the White House, they get one to two days off each month, and the rest of the time they're working 12-hour shifts. And if you are if you are military in uniform, uh, Secret Service in uniform, you only make sixty thousand, and in Washington D.C., it's poverty level. And if you're a regular Secret Service, I think he said right around 120 there in D.C. It's just not that great of a living. Apparently, there's a high burnout rate, which I did not know. And furthermore, found out that there are uh, very interesting, he wouldn't go into any details, but it sounds like there is high stress internally there at the White House um, at all times. So he was there during the Obama uh, administration and because of security details and the threats of uh, war and nuclear war and those sort of, sorts of things, everybody's highly attuned to that. Anyway, just I just had the, I spent a couple hours with them and it was just fascinating. I wanted to share that with all of you. But get this, this guy has a business where he, he installs flagpoles. This is a veteran, veteran-owned company who then installs flagpoles. I mean, I salute him. Uh, Mark Isbell is his name. Uh, anyway, just a, a super individual. All right. You're here about stocks. Let's talk about them. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. I still have a buy on it way down here on the spider because this is a good old-fashioned bull, pullback. But the problem is, first time we closed below the 8 EMA, man, in over a month. So there's a little bit of an issue. If I go here to the Dow, Dow, Diamond, still okay above the 8 EMA. NASDAQ, well, we got to zoom in on the tech stocks. Yeah, we closed just below it, just below it, but we have an inverted hammer, pretty bullish, but we're just below the 8 EMA, not liking that. On the other hand, I called it a sell yesterday on small caps, and today small caps were down 0.65%. We're below the 20-day moving average. Found support at the 50-day moving average. But big volume here. This is bad, bad news. Bad, bad news for the markets. Could we get a little bounce? Yep, but we have overhead resistance there. If we go to the banks, the banks are called it a sell. And sure enough, today we dropped and and not only did we drop, we closed near the day's low today on the bank index. Bank index. But big news here is gold. I had a sell on this back February 27th. And ever since, we've been crashing, 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 crashing. Gold's just in trouble, trouble, trouble. Silver, same thing. 
put a sell on it February 27th. And this is what's bad with gold or silver. We drop, 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 drop. Then we go into bearish pennant. Remember I was talking about that yesterday, guys? Bearish pennant. And then bam, to the downside. That's bad news. It broke major support. It broke it. Closing at the day's low. Oh, man, gold and silver. You do not want any part of that right now. You don't want any part of that right now. I'm going to look at Snap. Snap. I'm using tradingview.com. You can follow me at d7d-7seven. Oh boy, we're gonna go to Grok Tech Stocks. Yeah, I'm gonna see this one, man. Cognizant Technologies down 1.7 percent. Big drop there. And let's see here, but. Uh, Big drop was snap. Oh, snap. There it is. Big monster a drop today. Down 10% today from yesterday's massive sell-off. Twitter down 2.4. Oh, no. Twitter actually yesterday broke major support and then today broke this. Guys, Twitter is a big time sell, sell, sell. You do not want any part of Twitter. Bad, bad news. <sighs> Let me give you some good news. Here's the good news. Good news is you can hang out with us for three solid days. You can hang out with us from the comforts of your own home. We're going to be live on an open feed using GoToMeeting. We'll have our laptops up and our webcams going, and we'll be in full connection, you and me. And, well, you and Mark, our primo big-time stud trader. And that's going to be the 18th, 19th, and 20th. And all you have to do is click on Trading Mentor, fill out the form. And be three full days of the best trading education you have ever received. And there is nothing but upside potential for you by doing so. If you like it, like it. 